Joe. T. Disgrace. No, it's... No, I really, I, I, I am so disgusted this one. Where do you want me to start? You want me to start with the coach? You want me to start with the defense? We you didn't want me to start with it. Which we didn't one, even which really one need to ask. Let's start with about? Zach. Let, honestly, let's start with Zach Wilson. That's the biggest story okay. because he's back. What, okay. Let's start with Zach. Go ahead, okay. Joe. Uh, he didn't. We didn't lose this game because of him. I I'll agree. That. I agree with okay? that. Yep. And and he's still look. Mike White's better. Zach Zach is great. If you get and I've been saying this for a long time with this guy because he's not coached right. You get Zach out of the pocket, and you see the kind of plays he can make. Yep. You leave him in the pocket, and he's a he's a disaster. And the other thing that's they don't they had that one run, they had that one whatever they call it, read option where he ran for the first yes. down mm-hmm. on third and one, mm-hmm. he got about four yards. The guy, there's no designed runs for him. I've been screaming about this forever, but he just. I mean, the passes he misses. I mean, he, he's bouncing. He's bouncing his passes out of the backfield to Barrios on the on the last drive of the game. He had Barrios for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. He sailed it over his head. Yeah. He had Elijah Moore on a crossing pattern, whatever you want to call it. If he hits him, he's good for twenty five yards. He gets out of bounds. He misses him by a mile. Yeah, that's because he, that's because he can't operate in the pocket, Joe. So no, he I th- know it. He throws the go route there. Right. We have two crossers and a go route. He doesn't even look at the crossers. He just throws the go route, and it's and it's completely inaccurate. But that is coaching. The question becomes: Do you do you wait for him to develop into that player, or do you change your offense? No, you no. Mike White's the quarterback. I don't. <laughs> I don't wait. I don't wait for any development. That's nonsense. Mm-hmm. We got a guy now that's better than him. And I'm tired about the development. I'm tired about this. You know, he, I don't think he's ever going to be any more than he is. I mean, he's got talent. You'll get something for him if you trade him. Mike White is the quarterback. Now, are they, they going to go down with the ship to try to prove that this guy's the guy only because they drafted him with the second pick in the draft? Joe, I've been very reluctant to, to join you with this, but, but I am with you. When I said to Tiki, you know, when I watch Zach play, it's almost like that guy who shows up, you know, whether he's a Yankee or a Met, and he mashes at 3 o'clock in the afternoon during BP. He's sitting on the scoreboard. He's hitting bombs left and right. Looks like a stud in his uniform. And then the game starts. He can't hit a changeup or a curveball. I mean, Zach Wilson looks the part, but the most basic, fundamental yeah, things, yeah. he's terrible Okay, at. so so Jet fans here, mm-hmm. um, that is you and, and Joe B., can I be the devil's advocate? Yeah. All right. Yeah, devil so, away. So the challenge with a young quarterback like Zach is that you need him to get experience. It's the only way he's going to get better. And the perfect example goes back to the guy who came in went midway through my career, took over for Kurt Warner in the middle of uh, the 2004 season, and was terrible. I'm talking about Eli. He was he was bad. We were a pretty decent team. We weren't a great team, but we're kind of like this Jets team right? that is now. We were good enough, but not quite good enough. And we needed to make a change at quarterback. We stick Eli in there. We lose every game until the last game we beat the Dallas Cowboys. And Eli kind of grows from that from that mm-hmm. point on. Right. If you're the Jets, what's more important? Getting Zach to maybe take those Eli steps or winning right now? That That's the challenge that I think the Jets Woody. find themselves in. I think that's what Woody Johnson or whoever above Robert Sala made the decision to, mm. to not clear Mike White. That's what they're weighing right now. Joe, I go got ahead. a 27 year old quarterback. 27. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's not Kurt Warner, okay, who was 30 something years old. I got a 27 year old quarterback who's only started six games in his career, and he's showing you that he is a legitimate starting quarterback in the league. And what about the. So let's say that they. They stick with Zach, and Zach turns out to be never any better than what we're seeing now. And they let Mike White go, and he winds up somewhere else and becomes a big-time starting quarterback somewhere else. What about that? Well, Joe, and again, I'm, I'm with you, but to Tiki's point, the flip side, what if we've already seen the best of Mike White, which, to be fair, is pretty good, mm-hmm. and Zach eventually finds it, then it could be re- the reverse situation of what you just described. And yeah. that wouldn't be good I either. I think you have to factor in, like, is this Jet team winning a Super Bowl this year? Right, or, 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 and what's more important, getting to the playoffs and getting that experience, or yes. is it finding out your quarterback and no, it's helping getting, him it's develop? Getting to the playoffs now, it's enough, man. Enough. They've lost enough. They've teased us enough. I'm tired of it. And even even with Zach, they should have won yesterday. Yep. Yeah. And and I want to tell you right now, I am. T- and I've screamed about it, started with this last week. This defense is overrated. I'm tired of hearing about it. This is five games in a row now. They've they've forced one freaking turnover in five games, okay? They never take the ball away. The Giants last night won the game 
because they had two huge turnovers, one that went for a touchdown. Yep. I'm tired of hearing about how, how great this defense is, and with the game on the line, with the game on the line, they blew it again. And I have seen this with Jet defenses forever. Yeah. Forever. We saw this with Rex's defenses, Joe. We've talked about that. No, of I got course. You. You know, Joe, the one thing I want to add. Which I'm tired that... about it. The defense is overrated. They play terrible. They haven't had a good game since the Patriot game. They lost 10-3. And even in that game, they didn't force a damn turnover. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I, I Listen. I think you're being a little hard on the defense, but I, I get your ultimate point. We don't even need to quibble and split hairs. I, I know what you mean. You're not you're not wrong on them not showing up when they need to. But That's they our gave buddy up Joe. 13 points, man. Joe Benigno. What? Yeah, but without <laughs> Quentin Williams. But here's the thing. I want to get back to what you said Doesn't about Eli. Doesn't matter, Teak. They, yeah. they blew oh, the know. game with the game. Fourth and one. Could somebody cover the backup to the backup to the backup tight end? <laughs> it was fourth and inches. Could, it wasn't could, even fourth could, and one. Can could, could the great overrated middle linebacker, Joe, number 57, wait a minute. Wasn't could he not jump offside yeah, when the whole world and their brother knows that they're not going to run a play. But, Joe, can't we give credit to the other side? Because that was a great play. You think he wants to do the that J- right the now? The Jets were Bro, playing you man think I coverage. Do that? 17 Qu- 13. How about the three Quincy first downs? They, got, no, hold on. The three first downs they got before they got to midfield. Yeah, true. Okay? True. I don't want to hear it. But, no, the defense blew it. But, and let's but, remember but a field he's doing that. No, I'm ticked off today. <laughs> Let me tell you this about the defense. The first drive of the game, they go right down the damn field. Mm-hmm. And I know they stopped them on a two yard line, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. They set up the punt for a touchdown because Braden, man, kill them all you want, okay? And by the way, Zach missed, missed Denzel Mims that would have got him out of the end, uh, yeah. a little more field position there. He missed him badly on third down, okay? So Braden, man's got no room to punt, and now they're blaming him for the, for the, for the touchdown. No, no, no. The defense set that touchdown on up. Yeah. And let's remember this, too. The defense had a touchdown call back. The Lions had a touchdown. It was called back because of a holding penalty in the game. They didn't sack the quarterback. I don't want to hear that Quinn and Williams didn't play. They got all these other guys, Carl Lawson, Brad, Bryce Huff, John Franklin Myers, all these guys. Yep. They didn't sack the quarterback. They put very little pressure on, on Goff all day long. I'm tired of hearing how great this defense is. No. Yeah, no, no, Joe, we're, we're on the same page. But it, It's good, but it's not good, but it, it's of not course great, not. but it's it not needs a championship to be. Now, I, I, I agree with I'm, that. I'm, I'm kind I of on the same page, but go ahead. We are. <laughs> Listen, let's get to the coach because now we're going in circles. Let's yeah, get ahead. to the coach. I'm we, very upset with him. Me too. We saw this with Herm, you know, his guy yep. Dick Curl back in yep. the day, telling yep. him what yep. to call yep. a timeout. How, and I, by the way, to be fair to Sala, about an hour ago we took full ownership. He's like, I didn't sleep last night. That's, in essence, my bad. Absolutely. I, have I to didn't call sleep the, either. No, I don't want to hear it. But and I'm least, not getting paid how many millions of dollars a year that he's getting paid I get to it. make the right decision. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. No, but at least he owned it. I'm just trying to be fair, Joe. No, in, right, in the great. moment, yeah. it was egregious. It was horrendous. I've crushed him all day. I'm just merely saying that he owned it 45 minutes ago. That's it. But, Joe... Why is it so hard for Jet coaches over the years? And I hate to lump them all into one big pot and boil it on them, right, but right. none of these guys know how to work the freaking clock. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. None you of them, had, Joe. You had a call. To, here's the play. You had a call timeout. You got three timeouts. He hits Garrett Wilson for that first down. It was close. It was right on the line, but they give him the first down. Got to stop the clock right there. That's what we said. Yeah. Have to stop the clock right there. I think there was 40 seconds left. Yeah, you got three timeouts. He winds up with the – he's still got a timeout left. I know. It's not doing you any good this week. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. And then – and what made it worse, guys, after the game, I got – I mean, he might have owned it today, but after the game, I'm hearing this nonsense that he's selling. Well, we had three timeouts, and if you got three timeouts, you got plenty of time. I'm kind of paraphrasing. What are you talking about? Well, Joe, here's the other thing that drove me nuts. You can see this in real time. And we're talking to Joe Beningo here in the Fantique and Tierney show. You can see this in real time. They had no designs going for the kill. They were playing for three. That last sequence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No question. Come about it. on. But can you blame them? Yes, I can. You blame them because you you fear the well, Zach Wilson mistake. Well, then he shouldn't right? be playing. Well, you say they were going for three, but if he hits Berrios in stride, like that, was, he's gone. That's a tight throw, though. I mean, there's a robber sitting okay, in the well, middle of the field. Okay, well, you know, that's, that's a throw probably Mike White makes, by the way. <laughs> no, you're right. I'm just, I'm just pointing it out. I mean, what do I know, you know? <laughs> I mean, just, how, Joe, let, oh, go ahead, T. Go I was going to say, how do you respond to this? Because next week, or actually not next week. Yeah, Thursday. Three days. Can't wait. As crazy as that is, the Jets got to play again, and Mike White is still up in the air. If you're the Jets, how are you playing this? If Mike can go, Mike's got to play? Of or, course. Or you, or you, or you run Zach out there? No, no, no. I don't want to – believe me, if I didn't see Zach Wilson play quarterback again for the Jets, I'm okay. I want to see Mike White play. I want to make the play well. You know, thankfully – and I, let me say this. It was a brutal day yesterday, but there was one thing that put a smile on my face. Patriots Raiders. Oh, my God. Yeah. I watched the – 
for once in his life, because let's be honest, the Patriots got hosed on the touchdown to tie the game. The guy's got his foot out of bounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could not believe they didn't. I'm, I'm doing a dance. They didn't overturn it. They finally stuck one up Bill's rear end. I was loving every <laughs> second of it. Sticking right up. They did. Oh, and no. then what are they thinking? Love You're it. going into overtime. Wait a minute. The game's going to be. You're not losing the game. Yeah. The game's in overtime. Just go down. Hey, and then, Joe, and then throwing Joe, the ball around. Joe, made Joe, me so do happy. You think, oh, my God. So it was great. Do you, think oh. they were, do you think they were coached to do that? Do you think that someone said to Ramonde Stevenson, let's lateral and make and try to get his touchdown here? Right? Do you think that they were coached? Wow. Because That's that makes Bill, no sense. It? It well, That's not a, Todd Bowles coaching him. Come on. But they ran a draw. <laughs> it wasn't like they ran a, a deep, you know, end right. breaking, no, whatever. Know what you right? mean. They ran a draw, which was basically let's go to overtime. So why in the hell is Ramonde Stevenson laddering that? And why is he not cut right now? Because that yeah. could cost the Patriots the postseason. Yeah, it probably did. Because they, I don't see how they're winning out. You look at their schedule. They no. got to play the Bengals. They, they got to play the Bills. And they nowhere. got to play Miami. They're not there going nowhere. Joe, let me ask you this, Joe. Go ahead. So, that was tremendous. That made my day, Teague, yeah. after it was a terrible yeah, day. Which is why when I wrote uh, BT, at least you're not a Patriots fan right, on, well, his, on his yeah, rant. Well, you know what? They he says cry. I'm trolling You know him. what? Can I say this, Teague? They can cry. They can look at their six rings and they can cry yeah, that's into that. That's, that's, that's exactly what I said. Exactly. I, don't, I don't want to hear yeah, it. That's precisely, exactly what Joe. Said. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? I guess I know what you mean. Dude, live for the moment, man. We never get a moment. Joe, let me ask you this, Joe. We got one moment. January 12th, 1969. That's my moment. Wasn't even born yet. Sucks. Let me ask this, Joe. Go ahead. So there have been varying degrees of disappointment that we have heard you rail on over the years. You mm-hmm. and I have talked about. All right. So considering there's been seasons where they've had no talent and we yell at that, there's been seasons where they've had some talent and they've disappointed based on the talent, based on the state of the AFC, based on where they were in the standings a couple of weeks back. Based on the way they've lost some of these heartbreaking games, jumping off sides with Mosley yesterday, the Vikings typical, game. Typical jet loss. But where is this rank? What do you mean? This game? The season yeah. so far. Uh, right now, it's on the verge of major disappointment because they teased us. We got teased. They were 6 and 3 after Buffalo, they were 7 and 4 after the Bears. They've teased us. This is I mean, you know, it's like the the great song by the Who, we don't get fooled again. You know, meet the new, <laughs> Good song meet there, the yeah. new boss yeah. same as the old boss uh-huh. because that's basically what we're looking at right now. And let's and and then you got to factor in the Mike White Zach Wilson thing, okay? The political nonsense going on with that. And here's the other thing that I'm concerned about, too. Yep. And I, I want to like this coach. I, I'm tired of the revolving door of head coaches with this franchise. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's a disaster. We all know that, no doubt. I want this guy to be the coach. But I'm a little worried about him. He, ne- <sighs> he always defends his players. He never, you know, there's times you got to you gotta let your player have it. And I don't know if he's doing it behind closed doors, mm-hmm. but I don't think he is. Well, I brought this up, Joe, and I know he's a fantastic player. I mean, really, since Al Toon, because I think he's more talented than Keyshawn. I'm talking about Garrett Wilson. Oh, God. Okay, he's, he's phenomenal. Dude, no you're, a ro- you're a rookie. Stop throwing your arms around. Stop showing up your quarterback. And to me, I got to tell you this, Joe. While I believe in Salah, I'm not all in, but I'm certainly much more in than I'm not. I do have some concerns with his, with his management that we talked about, but mm-hmm. also the clock management. But also, I think that he has allowed this team to almost take on an anti-Zach personality. And that is criminal for a coach to let to, to, to allow that to happen to a kid who's 22, 23, who was just drafted second. Whether or not he's the guy down the road or not, that's not my point. He has allowed this team to almost take a, a stand against Zach mm-hmm. Wilson. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding yeah, you me? You know what? I, 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 the reason I understand what you're saying. The reason I don't completely agree with it is because Zach Wilson still had them in position to win this football game yeah. yesterday. And 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 Garrett Wilson wasn't out there dropping passes. He was making plays. He made that one catch was pass interference anyway, yeah. where the guy's hanging on. I couldn't believe he Joe, caught the ball. Joe, let me ask you this, though, Joe. How about so, the play Michael Carter made on that end-over-end thing that Wilson yeah, threw? Yeah, that was the worst decision That was the worst throw he made all day. Uh, Horrendous Carter, decision. Carter somehow, made, no, the worst throw he made all day was the intercept, the lollipop interception No, Joe, Joe, I think that the one to Carter was worse. It was a complete disregard for the safety of the football. Joe, what? it was 10-10 in okay. the third quarter, Joe. No, no, He's I on his own 15-yard line. He threw oh. up a punt. I, I I understand. Come on, I, I get. Okay, fine. We could. That's that's you know we could yeah, argue you. that I, all I day. Got you. I but my you. point is, if these guys weren't playing for him, they're not making plays like that. No, I know. But Joe, I mean, do you so think- I, I don't know if I completely buy that. Okay, but Joe, do you think 
and it, it almost doesn't even matter, but do you think that, that uh, uh, say the Patriots, say Mac Jones was drafted in second, drafted second overall, right, and they had right, some right. middling fifth rounder who was doing what Mike White's been doing for us. Do you think that there would be 13 Patriots boarding a charter plane to go to play the Minnesota Vikings with a T-shirt? You know, st- like that. That's basically telling the world we want the backup. This is our guy. Yeah. I don't. I think that's a bad look. It speaks well to Mike White, mm-hmm. but it almost fractures the team. You know what? I I am. I'll say this. I'll be honest about it. I'm so in the Mike White camp that you know you I don't, actually like it. It didn't bother you. I, it did not bother me at all. Now yeah. it makes a good point what you're saying though. You know, I don't think your point is is missed about because that's you're right. That's on Salah. Salah is the guy that needs to prevent something like that from happening. Yes. I don't disagree. Okay. But again, let's get back to yesterday. Uh-huh. Yesterday, the, he made as as ba- as many throws as he missed. He made enough plays to win the game, Mm -hmm. and with the game on the line, he drove him down the field for the go-ahead touchdown, and then the defense gave it up. And that to me, and and I understand the final drive of the game, and I'm going to put some of that on the coach as well for not calling that timeout, even though he missed some passes on the last drive, no doubt about it. Okay, and forget Zerline. I I knew Zerline, by the way, was never making that kick. Yeah, me too. Not even an issue. He had no shot. I know he made a 60-yarder in Minnesota indoors, but, you know, mm-hmm. he was, the way the game was, you knew they weren't. he wasn't making it. So that so I'm exonerating <sighs> him completely. But, you know, look, I mean, they still still should have won this game with Zach Wilson. I mean, that's really, what, to me, what it comes down to yesterday. That, yeah. is, uh, that is not really a disputable point. I do agree that I think some people are missing the mark a little bit with Zach. He did get him in a position to win. Yep. There's the big picture, and then there's the, the yesterday picture, and, and they're not necessarily congruent, so Correct. I do agree. Joe, Merry Christmas. Now, is Terry making a little seafood on Christmas Eve? We're going to have the seven you fishes know what? or what, Joe? Unfortunately, I just got over a major battle with the gout. And oh, nobody, if right. you ever had to get, you don't ever want it, uh, okay? I've had everything and, else. So no, but you don't want this because yeah. it's pain like you've never had. I get it in my hand. My hand turns into like a claw. I'm just getting over that. I cannot eat any like shellfish oh. seafood. No, I can't. I got you, me. Joe. You know? Got you. So, but let me just say this. I'm actually filling in for you guys four days next week. All, All right, nice. Joe. There nice. you go, right. buddy. Monday, Ooh. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll be in oh, to fill it. in for the incomparable BT and Tiki. I All appreciate right? it. You going solo or are you going to ride with somebody? No, I, I what guess you got? I'm going solo. No, 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 no. boy, I'm going Joe. Myself. I love All it. right. I love it. Just me. Merry, Merry Christmas, things buddy. To talk about. Be good, yeah. Joe. Yeah. Can the Jets win Thursday night? Uh, I'm going to the game. Joe. Maybe that you think that helps? Know. Is that good karma, bad karma? With you, you it's good, but with them, you never know. They no, can, I, if anybody can offset good karma, it's the Jets. And Jacksonville yeah, no, is suddenly yeah. very good all of a sudden. <laughs> What's that? What'd Jacksonville is suddenly very good. Oh, oh, my God. Are, can you, you imagine? You. No. They beat the Ravens now. They beat the, 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 the Cowboys yesterday. Yep. Coming back in overtime to win that game. I don't but, know. But again, Thank God for the Patriots. What I, I hope Bill's got major indigestion today. I really don't. <laughs> Joe, Merry Christmas to you and Terry. Merry Christmas, Talk to you guys. Soon, All, buddy. The love love you, man. All right? There he See is, you. Joe B. 